gonna be a really disturbing story really disturbing white woman faces 10 years for performing unnecessary surgeries on healthy or well, on a healthy black child for clout I never knew the levels that people will go through just so that they can be put on and get their 50 minutes of fame. And nowadays, people are capitalizing on that 50 minutes of fame. They're not trying to get that 50 minutes. They're trying to get that rolling for days, weeks, years. And they're pretty smart at it. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Well, let's get to it. Sophie Hartman. It's a 31-year-old white woman from Washington State who adopted a six-year-old black child. Just to let you guys know, there's no name that's going to be affiliated with this child. Mm -mm. You're too young. Sophie put the child through over 470 medical treatments. Over which included surgeries. Now, can you imagine your six-year-old child? Now, I can understand if the child was unhealthy and would need to go through a few surgeries and treatments in order for them to get well. But she was healthy. She was charged after the doctors found that the child was healthy. Apparently, Sophie was doing all of this for clout. She even went as far as to speak at foundations like Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm. This dirtbag, Sophie, made her adopted child wear leg braces, multiple surgeries, installing feeding tubes to flush out the child's intestines. The child is from Africa, Zambia. Sophie is facing second-degree charges of assault of a child and attempted assault of a child, which in other words is called medical child abuse. If she so happens to be convicted, she will then face up to 10 years in prison. I feel she should get the death penalty. She should get the death penalty. She was in charge, she was in fact charged after the child was referred to by initial CH, went through a 16 day observation for her ailments and treatments. Keep in mind, she was a healthy six year old. Luckily, with the help of doctors, they will assist in her recovery. Now, hopefully, this child will be sent over to someone who would actually take care of her, who's not looking to get the clout. But then again, who knows, because this child is now affiliated in this matter, whoever will get the child will now get the clout that this person initially wanted from before. That's how I see it. Think about it. Now that the child is getting recognition, even though there's no names, you ain't got a... Uh, uh, the initials, right? But whoever is gonna get this child will now get the clout. And the praise, especially after they will have this child rehabilitated, 
and moving on to bigger and better things. I hope this child gets the help that she needs. I hope that this child will get the parents that will be comforting, loving, understanding, and will bring this child into a better life. I just hope. That's all folks. Edmund the General signing off. I'm out. Peace.